the word of my Lord. Deep within my being, oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you through and through, I chose you to be mine. Before
scepter claim all in him above adore thee infinite thy vast domain everlasting is thy reign in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Hello, Father. And welcome to our online Mass. Once again, we come as a community, as, as the church, as parish and friends, to spend some time with Jesus and to pray. And today we have exceptionally beautiful first reading. Before we have that reading... <clears throat> I'm inviting you to listen to that because it will tell you, it tells us what being with God is about. I'm not saying anything else. Just listen to our first reading from the Hebrews, a beautiful one. And then you will see what we are doing even right now on this mount. This is our mount when Jesus comes. During our Mass today, I want to pray for Jacinta on her birthday, her birthday was on Saturday, but we want to ask God's blessing for all the graces, for everything that, that, that you need, for yourself, for your family, especially at this time. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. O God, oh God we, we ponder your love, love within, within your, your temple. temple. The Lord is rich and worthy of praise. O God, you were founded in the Bible of Moses. Joy in the Lord. O God, God we, we ponder your, your love within, within your, your temple. temple. God, God, we 
deep under your love within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise is <coughs> the expression of your judgment from my heart and mind. O oh God, oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus made a tour around the villages, teaching. Then he summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no haversack, no coppers for their purses. They were to wear sandals, but he added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, if you enter a house anywhere, stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance, and they cast out many devils and anointed many sick people with oil and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. If we quickly quickly go back to our first reading in the, in the psalm, you know, this is something what explains to me what Mass is about and what we are doing right now is about. This is the Holy Eucharist we are celebrating. A few of us in the church and you at your homes. But it is still the holy moment during our day. And this is a special thing that we can do every day still. Having those online masses, so many of them. Look what, what we find in the letter to the Hebrews. It's, in general, it's about the Mount Zion when, when, where God dwells, where he lives, where his temple is. But you, you can easily see that this is about every place in the world where mass is being celebrated. So we read, what you have come to and we have come to this Mass. What you have come to is nothing known to the senses. Not a blazing fire or a gloom turning to total darkness or a storm or trumpeting thunder or great voice speaking which made everyone that heard it beg that no more should be said to them. So what we are doing is not about our senses. It's about our faith. We have to use the sense of our faith. Close your eyes and try to, 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 to see what we are doing through faith. But what you have come to is Mount Zion. This Mount Zion is a holy mount in Jerusalem, just outside the walls of Jerusalem right now. Before it was the mount when the temple, the most holy place for the Jews, was built where God lived. That's what they believed. So, but what you have come to is Mount Zion and the city of the living God. This is exactly what we have come to. This is the place of the living God right now for us. The heavenly Jerusalem. Yes, it is right now for us. Where the millions of angels have gathered for the festival. 
yes, this is the festival, this is the feast. And the, the angels are everywhere around us. We just don't see them. With the whole church, in which everyone is firstborn son, a citizen of heaven, this is who we are. This reading is really beautiful. Word by word, it tells you who we are and what our God is and who we are for him. You have come to God himself, the supreme judge, and been, been placed with spirits of the saints who have been made perfect. And to Jesus, the mediator who brings a new covenant, this is what we have come to right now. And if you are watching us and praying with us, this is what you have come to as well. So it's not just a mass, as people used to say, right? It's a mass, half an hour and, and it's done. No. It's the place where God dwells. And look, this Mount Zion. If we go back through the history, we can easily see that we have a lot of mounts. When God was present in a special way, Mount Sinai, we, when, when God gave Moses the, the Ten Commandments. And then we have this Mount Zion, when the temple is. We know exactly about the Mount Tabor, when Jesus showed himself. And we know about Mount of Olives, when Jesus died. All those mounts, they find the fulfillment at the Eucharist. This is our mount. The top. When we meet with Jesus, and when he speaks to us, and when he is with us. And the second thing I would like to, to share with you today is about our gospel. A again, one, one of the most beautiful gospels, if you think about the mission, being an apostle, following Christ, doing something for, for him. But there is something unusual at the first look. When Jesus tells his disciples, when he sends them away to in pairs, and he gives them authority, and he instructs them like this, take nothing for the journey, except a staff, no bread, no haversack, no coppers, no, no spare tunic. Why is that? Normally when we, when we go on a trip, when we plan a, a, a tour, we take everything with us so we can use it when we need it. And he tells them, don't take anything. Like the opposite. Why is that? For me, the only answer is this. Take nothing. And then you will quickly realize that I will be everything for you. I will be your purse. I will be your bread. I will be your haversack. I will be your tunic. I will be your everything. And you will have no doubts that this is me working in you. I am sending you. I will be looking after you. I will give you the strength. I will give you everything what you need for life. Because if you take your money and everything else, you will know that you, you can probably do things by yourself and it's you doing it. But if you have nothing, like sometimes we feel, then everything is from God. And there is no doubt. There is no question. And there is more glory to God because we believe in him more. I believe this time for us is, is kind of like, like this time of sending those disciples. When we can face that we totally depend on God in everything. And we don't have to worry too much about everything else. If we allow him to give us what we need. And I'm not trying to be naive in, in, in terms of everyday life. No. But I'm asking you, and I'm, I'm speaking to myself, to trust God more and more, especially when we, when we feel that there is something before us and we don't know it. Don't, don't secure your life by what you have. Secure your life on Jesus and his words and his sacraments and especially the Eucharist. And in this way, he can show you miracles. He can, he can show you things you don't expect. And then, at the end of the day, we will have no doubts that it is him who made it. It's not us. And we, we don't want to boast 
of ourselves. Because we know that God made it in his power, in his love, in his providence. Let us pray today for all of us that we can trust God more and more. And especially in things that we don't understand completely, that we don't know the future, that we cannot see what is behind, that we can trust him in those moments, that he is with us and he leads us and he will give us everything what we need in the proper time. Amen. It is the Father's will that man should see him in the face of his beloved Son. Let us honor him today as we pray. Christ greeted us with good news. May the world hear it through us and find hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We praise you and we thank you, Lord, of heaven and earth. You are the hope and joy of all of us and in every age. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May Christ's coming transform the church and renew its youth and vigor in the service of man. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for Christians who suffer for their belief, sustain them in their hope. Lord, Hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for God's blessing and graces for Jacinta on the occasion of her birthday. For guidance and for peace in, in, in her heart. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And today I would like to make a special intention for our brother Sebastian Lori Antoine, who died yesterday in St. Lucia, and his brother is one of our parishioners. We want to pray for his eternal rest and for the gift of heaven for him. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And in silence, let us present to God our own intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we ask Mary, our mother, to pray for us as we say, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners now now and at the hour hour of our death. death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. forever. May the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. In spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the good of all this holy church. O Lord, we bring, you, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Neil, our Bishop-elect, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by, the, by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. The 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, True faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is our mount. Every Eucharist is the mount when God meets his people. Throughout the history, we had, we had so many different mountains when, when God was as he was. Jesus was as, as the son of God. And God gave us the commandments. And at the end, Jesus died on the mountain, on, on Mount of olives. This is our mount, where, where, when we can meet Jesus every day. So I am inviting you to continue joining us and praying with us, and have your little time during the day for prayer for this mount, when you can meet Jesus in your life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. And have a beautiful afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Of the Lord, celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Thank you for the cross, Lord. And thank you for the price you paid. Bearing and embrace